All right, guys, we have some circles vocabulary. This will be our introduction to circles. And this is on ClassKick, already all filled out. So if you wanna go back and look on this as you look at your classwork, that'd be really helpful. But there's four main things that we need to know. First, we have two kind of definitions. And then the two things we're gonna be calculating for, which is circumference and area. So let's start here with radius. So when we are measuring things with circles, we have a point in the middle. And the first thing we have is radius. It's this line right here. And radius is the distance from the center point. So here's the center point to any point on the circle. So I could draw the radius anywhere if I wanted to, but I just drew it right here. And this is the short line. This is the half line. All right, one way that I like to remember that this is radius is that it makes a little R. See how it kind of makes an R radius? So the radius and, and the next one we're gonna talk about diameter, they interact. So if you have a diameter and you divide that by two, you're gonna get the radius. This will make more sense on our classwork in a minute. So radius is half the distance across. So then we have diameter and diameter is the distance across through the center. So you have the radius like this, and if I were to have the diameter, I'm drawing the other side of that line. It's all the way across, not just halfway through. And just like radius made a little r, diameter makes a d. Now, if you think about it, if I have one radius right here, show you the little radius, and another radius right here, two radius equals one diameter. So if I take a radius they give me, radius, and I multiply it times two, I get diameter. So when you're calculating, they're either gonna give you the radius or the diameter, and you're gonna have to know how to switch between these two. Radius is half, diameter is the whole distance across the circle. Now, what we're gonna be calculating is circumference and area. So let's talk about this word circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. So it's calculating how long around is it. When I think of circumference, I like to think of a fence around a pool. Okay, so you have the circumference. When we're calculating for circumference, we have a formula that we need to know. So your circumference, C, equals pi times the diameter. C equals pi D. Now, we haven't seen pi before. This is a symbol that represents a number. And what I need you to know right now about pi, just for these lessons, we're gonna go into pi a little more soon, but pi equals the number 3.14. So really this is C equals 3.14 times whatever diameter they give you. Next, we'll be calculating area. And area is the space inside of the circle. So whereas circumference is like a fence around it, we're only doing what's around this line Area is what's inside of it. So if that's the fence around the pool, area is all the water in the pool. It's filling it in. I also like to think of this as icing a cake. If I was gonna ice the top of a cake, that would be area. And area equals pi times the radius squared. Now we're gonna talk about how to square things in our calculator and what that means soon, but we're gonna start with circumference this week. So just have these notes kind of in your head, but we're gonna move on to this next week. And so I want you to think of icing a cake. Okay, so to review, I have radius. Radius is the line from the center halfway. It makes a little r and diameter divided by two equals radius. The diameter is the line all the way across a circle, it goes all the way across, and it's two of my radiuses. So I have a radius here and a radius there. So radius times two would give me my diameter. And for today, we want circumference, and circumference is when I go all the way around, it's this outside line if I wanna measure that and my formula is C equals pi D. And last one is area, I'm icing this cake. I wanna know how much space is here. And my formula is A equals pi R squared. 
Remember, these are on ClassKick, completely filled out. So if you want to take a look at these notes at any time, please look at them there.